to Shen, one of the striking workers. I'm one of the striking McDonald's workers from Crayford in South East London. First of all, I want to say to all of you, thank you. Because when we've had head office in our stores in the lead up to this strike, intimidating workers every day, all we've had to do is look online to the messages of solidarity and support from all of you. All we've had to do is look at the donations that are coming in to support these workers. And we've been able to give them hope. When there are managers telling them that they can be arrested for striking, that they can lose their jobs for going on strike, we have only had to show them that you are all behind us, and I'm so thankful for that, really I am. <laughs> I'm also incredibly proud of my workers at my store who have joined the union with me. I'm incredibly proud of the workers at Cambridge who have stood up as well. We have faced bullying in the workplace from managers who care nothing about our circumstance, only the profit that they can make. We've faced bullying and harassment from public that has been allowed to go on. In Cambridge, there's been sexual harassment that has been allowed to go on. One of the workers in my store, when she approached the business manager and said to him, please don't scream in my face, please don't do that to me. She told him that she had been a, a victim of domestic abuse in the past. His response was to laugh in her face. Laugh in her face and tell her to leave it out of work. And when I talked to her, she said, well, what can we do? But this is what we can do. We were left with no other option by McDonald's except to come together. We started off to protect ourselves, but now we want them to make sure that they're hearing us, that they know what our complaints are, that they can't let us be in these positions anymore. With people living on chairs, with people sleeping on floors, with someone with a four-year-old son is homeless and they care nothing about it and no longer will it happen. We need a living wage for people. We need good hours, good contracts that mean that we are on a stable lifestyle. We need better conditions and that all starts here. Thank you.